latest installment of Christine O'Donnell says what? She presents an interesting piece of information you might not have known about mice. In a conversation about cloning in 2007, O'Donnell told Fox's Bill O'Reilly, quote, American scientific companies are crossbreeding humans and animals and coming up with mice with fully functioning human brains. Well, I've done some digging and was shocked to find out that Miss O'Donnell just might be right. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Well, I think so, Blaine, but... <laughs> no, no, it's too stupid. And how could we forget about our friends Pinky and the Brain? Not to mention Mighty Mouse or Mickey and Minnie. How could mice be here to save the day or welcome us to Disneyland if they didn't have human brains? Think about it. And O'Donnell might be right that there's a good reason to argue against stem cell research, because who knows what it could lead to. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. <laughs> I'm guessing she's misquoting a 2005 report where scientists successfully grew human brain cells within mice, not whole brains. But if you can't figure out that there are no mice running around with fully functioning human brains, you might need those scientists to help you grow a couple of brain cells in your head. <laughs>